Welcome to the right time. This is your chance to tell time to the hour. In the nearest half hour, make sure you read the it, all direction and questions. Ready, set, and go. Now, let's get started telling time to the hour and half hour. This is a clock. The time is read by looking at the numbers in which the hand point to. The smaller hand is called the hour hand. The number points to tells you the hour. The larger hand is called the minute hand. The minute hand tells me the number of minutes it is before or after the hour. Let's look at some other clocks and review the meaning of hands. Clocks with faces have hands. The small hand tells you what hour it is. It is it is and the large hand tells how many minutes pass before the hour. This clock is called a digital clock. It will read either AM or PM. This time is also put into two groups. Morning hours by AM and evening hours is PM. And it is showing that this is 5 PM. Now that you understand what a clock it is, let's look and see what the numbers mean. Each number starting at 12 has five minutes between them. So between 12 and one is five minutes. Study the clock and find out how many numbers are starting at 12 and going to six. Put the answer in, in the box. Um, sorry, um, I'm a kid, but I actually didn't practice for this, I just randomly did it, and, um, uh, well, I don't actually know the answer, okay, I'll, okay, study the clock and find out how many numbers there are, starting at 12, and going to 6, put the answer in the box, so, okay, Eight, maybe? Can you know, um, check me? I do not care, computer. Um, maybe six is the answer? Um, Wonderful. What a time to get it right. Did I actually get it right? Yeah, I believe so. Um, okay. I'll just make a guess. <sighs> now, let's count by fives to find out how many minutes each number represent, represents. Click on the big clock to start counting. Five. Ten. 15, 20, 25, 
30 30 I know how to count by fives I wish I wasn't just saying those numbers I actually do know how to count by fives and just if you're wondering it's fall time right now and well Okay, I'm just gonna count my fives again so you can know how I did. Okay. 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. And I'm not gonna keep doing it because that would take a long time and I don't have Every two numbers have five minutes between them. How much, much time will be between 12 and 6? Wait, can you click on the clock this time? Boo, no. Thirty-five, maybe. Sorry, don't think of it in a minute. Don't, I mean, Google or whatever. Actually, it's more this tab thing on on my computer, but whatever. Okay. Maybe it's just 30. I'm trying to do math in my head. Great job, you're right this time. Alrighty, you. you. Um, alrighty, so now I'm, I need to move it Because I do. Wow. Let's now see how we read and say F past the hour. Now look at this clock and use the information we you just used to tell how much of the clock is shaded. Wait, why did I suddenly pause? Okay, okay. Wait, is there, there's another thing we need to click there. Clock for, oh, no, no. Just go next. Half of the clock is shaded, that means half of an hour has passed. Other ways to say half of an hour is 30 minutes past the hour, or the hour and 30. If you're wondering why there's a lot of scratching sounds, I just have some mosquito bites. Even though it's fall right now, so it doesn't seem like mosquito should be out right now. If you're wondering what those voices are in the background, that's just my mom and sister. Nothing big. Oh, plus my two dogs. My dog Bailey dances, and those feet tappings are her. Hers. Okay? Just, I can't make her be quiet. It's not my fault, but she just never is quiet. Okay, the students will have lunch at 12.30. This means 30 minutes past the hour of 12. The clock reads 30 minutes past 12. Again, we see this means 30 minutes past the hour of 12. Half hour past 12. This too means 30 minutes past the hour of 12. Um, yeah. So. I'm going to just click that while I'm mentioning what I'm doing.
so I just had a yawn. Read the two sentences below. Now, click on the sentence which has words written in time of half hour. Click the clock that is the correct way to read half hour. <laughs> Sorry, half hour, okay. Well, sounds good. Computer, great work. Now, now the right time to try what we've learned. Um. I um. <laughs> okay, this is. Oops, um. Uh, I am not good at this apparently, okay? I didn't know that, but I just need to type maybe seven. Don't forget to type your call in. My fault. People forget things sometimes. App. But whatever. Google, okay? What was I writing again? Hold on. Um, what's that? Ah, uh, uh, here it is. What was I gonna write? What's, oh yeah, what's it called? I got it. What's it called? Hmm. Oh, the also perfect body. Columns are also um part of punctuation. Column punctuation. Um, Do I need to do 
period at the end. I see. Hey, it kind of looks like a smiley face. Just wondering if it could have letters. Oops, not there. Blah, blah. Not, not, oh, it's zero. Okay. This was not expected. Well, I'm gonna call my mom. Hold on. I'll get my mom, but just, um, just, um, so I'm getting my mom. Help me. Okay, just look at it that I'm getting in my mom. If you want to make that school video, if you want to read the toy and I'll record it. Yeah, I didn't it. finish the clock thing. I know, but when you're done with that, I'm wondering, did you want to do that too? Yeah. Don't worry, I wasn't like looking at it because it was on the video and I had to run and I mean, do something. I just did that so okay. we That's okay. and watch me. Okay. I can't figure out how to properly write it. What's a colon? A colon? A colon, yeah. This. You have to hit shift and then it's that. I know, but if I do, do, I did do that. Oh. And it won't let me just skip. Okay, it's okay. Right, so just be done. It's okay. Okay, well, um, Mama, the video's still on. Is it recording? Yeah. Me? No, it wasn't recording the screen. It wasn't recording you. Um, was it recording?